Hi and welcome to our next tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at how we can create a program using the block editor and then we can convert it to text. When we do that we are programming in a text-based language called C++. So we're going to take our first look at what C++ looks like and if you are adventurous enough you can try to do some coding in C++ instead of using the block editor. We've got a simple circuit here. We've got a 220 ohm resistor in parallel with a green LED that's being powered through port 13. We've got the ground connected here and that ground is connected to this side of the Arduino board connected to ground here. Our program is simple. All this program does is send a high signal to port 13 and we're going to hold that high for one second and then we're going to send a low signal to port th 13 and we're going to keep it low for a second. Remember that in a microcontroller this will continue to loop forever until the power is taken away from the microcontroller. So if we start the simulation just to check make sure it's working properly we can see that the green LED is flashing off and on for one second at a time. If I stop the simulator, what I can do is I can go to the drop down menu here and I can convert our block program to text, in other words, to C. So if I go ahead and do that, it gives me a warning basically telling me that once I convert from block to C to text, it can't convert back. So we're going to go ahead and continue. And there you can see that here is what it looks like in C++. We have two parts that we're going to take a look at. This is one function here, if you will. And this is another function. This function here is void setup. And what this does is it defines what it's going to use for inputs and outputs as the program runs. So we're telling it that we want to use pin 13 as an output port as we run our program. This code is only run once when the microcontroller is powered up. This function here, void loop, runs forever while there is power connected to the Arduino board. And we see a few things inside this loop here or this part of the function we're doing a digital write command to port 13 we're setting it high and then we're going to delay for a thousand and what that means is we're delaying for a thousand milliseconds then we are going to do a digital write to pin 13 we're going to set it low and we're going to hold it for Again, a time of a thousand milliseconds, which is one second. After that, it will continue to loop forever and go on. So again, if we start the simulator, we're going to see the same thing that we did before. The code itself hasn't changed, but what has changed is we've converted from block to text, which is C++. So anytime you want to take a look at what the C++ code looks like, you can convert from block to text. And I encourage you to try and change some things here. Change the delay time. You can change the port number. We can change our circuit. Try that. And you can get a feel for what programming in C++ looks like. That's it for this tutorial. We'll talk to you soon.